Good morning, everybody. It is 7.15 in the morning. We left this morning at 3.02, and we are on our way to get the Percheron Phillies. So we got a pretty good journey ahead of us. Heading up to uh, South Dakota. It's going to be about 17 hours or so. But we're well on our way. We're in our fourth hour. Just now getting some daylight where I can video and let you know what's going on. We'll be spending the night up there tonight and then uh, loading the girls up in the morning. But hopefully we'll get there tonight in time to uh, get a little bit of footage and um, show you the moms and stuff before we got to leave in the morning and start heading back. It's just going to be a real quick trip up there, grab some sleep, load them up, and straight back. So, looking forward to getting these girls. We'll be working with them in the round pen and desensitizing them for the next year and a half. Getting them used to halter training and leading and standing tied for long periods of time and... Uh, having stuff put on their backs, taken off their backs, and if I can get a, uh, a cheap used collar, uh, I will um, get a hold of that so that I can get them used to that being slipped on and off their heads. And after about a year and a half, when they're about two years old, hopefully I can start um, looking for a trainer to start doing some training with them and getting them to work with their team and get used to driving and stuff so that when they're two and a half, three years old, we'll be ready to go and start driving them full time. So anyway, it's going to be a good trip. We'll uh, show you some stuff along the way and then we'll uh, get back with you when we get up there. Paducah, Kentucky, getting fuel here. Let's uh, see what kind of mileage we're getting on this F-150 pulling this big old trailer. 202,000 miles. 11.3 on that tank of gas. Same thing we got on the last tank of gas. Ten point six miles per gallon on that tank. There was a lot of uphill, and we had it on cruise, and it kept downshifting. So uh, lost about a half a mile per gallon by having it on cruise. So we'll go back to non-cruise. halfway well over halfway and uh, getting gas one more time and we're gonna grab some lunch
Good morning, everybody. We got in late last night, but uh, we didn't get to do anything, but we're out here this morning. Let me show you these girls. Here they are. This is Grace right here. And this is Jean over here. And they're very inquisitive and very friendly. I've already picked up their feet. And uh, they are probably... Um, they're probably 10 hands high already, but they're really nice. They're five months old. And they're already used to being tied. They've been weaned. And the moms are inside here. They are 1,850 pounds and 17 one hands tall. Here you go, I'm standing next to her. She's absolutely massive. Super sweet girl, so. They are getting ready to go and thrash some oats this morning. So he's already fed them and he's about to pull out. He's already got his truck and trailer hooked up. We've given the babies some sin chill, uh, which is just a, an all natural sedative for anxiety and stress so that we can get him on the trailer a little easier and uh, we'll get him loaded up. He's been showing us harnesses and everything like that and all of his equipment and uh, we've just kind of been looking at all that. But he's getting ready to get out of here so we're going to get these girls loaded up and, and go. Here's his harness room. He's got these two just basic work harnesses. And then he's got two parade harnesses and then two sets of Samson Christmas bells that go around the back and then it's got a belly strap, but these are one for each horse. And then he just picked these up from auction. He's got four brand new sets. I'm sorry, two brand new sets. Uh, two matching pair um, for a total of four horses, obviously. And uh, he's looking to add two more horses so he'll have a four hitch, but he's looking for some mature geldings to go with his mature mares. Here's the fillies with their moms. You can see how big they are. Getting a little testy over here. Looks like the babies are trying to nurse. Mom's like, get off me. Here's the moms with their harnesses on. Getting ready to go to the harvest some oats. Absolutely massive. Those are 
saucers, dinner plate saucers there. Ten, ten nails in each shoe. Look at this foot. Just massive. Joys and Chiefs, you can almost wrap your hand around them. Big loaded up and we are on our way back. Didn't take too long to get them loaded. They'd never seen a trailer before, so just a little bit of persuasion. And uh, they loaded up and we got some hay from their farm and some oats from their farm and some water from their farm so that they have familiar tastes and uh, smells that they make them more comfortable on the on the ride home. So they're uh, resting comfortably back there right now. They were a little rowdy before we left. They're pawing and you know kind of antsy. And but uh, since we've been on the road, we hadn't heard anything or felt anything. So they're they're pretty chill. We're gonna pull over up here and be about 75 miles since we left the farm get some fuel and just check on them check the trailer out overall and uh, we'll just continue heading that way Well, we had a flat tire, unfortunately. Blew the sidewall out and the whole entire tread's gone. So, we're on the interstate. We gotta get this thing up and get out of here. That's the beauty of this trailer aid, trailer assister. You don't have to take the uh, animals out of the trailer on the side of the interstate. You can just roll it up on there, get this tire up off the ground and get on down the road we've been here 10 minutes let's get this down and get this tightened up and get out of here well after the tire explosion episode yesterday we did everything we could to get us a spare tire so that we had an additional spare in case we had another blowout and we tried everything we could to get a spare and nobody had one problem was it was Saturday afternoon at five o'clock in the afternoon and nobody was open the only people that were open was like tractor supply and rural king and they just didn't stock that tire so we called roadside assistance roadside assistance said we'll help you we'll pay for the emergency service call we'll pay for the labor we'll send the guy out there with the tire and you're just gonna be responsible for the tire cost but nobody had the tire she could find no providers and so we were sitting in a sam's parking lot we got off the expressway as quickly as we could pulled into a parking lot checked to make sure there was no additional damage checked to make sure there was no other problems with any other tires um checked the torque on the tire and um and then was waiting around for to see if she was going to be able to find somebody to come to our aid and she just wasn't able to find anybody. So we drove the last 700 miles of our trip with no spare. And I'm gonna tell you, I was pretty nervous. So we are about 10 minutes from the farm and I think we're gonna make it. So we're gonna get over there, get these girls unloaded. They are tired, they are ready to be off the trailer. It's been a 23 hour trip um, from the time we left yesterday. So it's been, a, it's been a day. So let's get over here to the farm and get them off. So they're all settled in here for the night. We'll come back and check on them tomorrow. They got water and food, salt, some hay, and uh, they're in the round pen. I wanted to get them over here because 
the uh, the kids are right here and there's only about 10 feet that separates them so they can get used to smells and sounds and stuff you see joy wants to get to them so but they're uh they're calm over here it's a little wet but they'll be all right till in the morning and once we get them acclimated and they get used to smells and sounds then we'll introduce them to each other see that how that happens and after I let them sleep out here overnight, I'll bring the tape out tomorrow and I'll tape them to where I can get a estimated weight and an estimated height on them, just so I've got something to go off of because I'm not real sure right now. But they're doing pretty good just hanging out and uh, they're comfortable and they're relaxing. So more to come. It's been a long two days, but well worth it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.